first thing you need is melt and pour soap base then cut it into smaller pieces try to keep these cut pieces as uniform as possible and the knife that you are using not do not use that knife again in kitchen and keep it dedicated to soap making cutting these pieces uniformly will help you when you will melt the soap it is ready and cut so now that the soap is ready next thing is we have to measure the fragrance every time you measure a fragrance or soap or anything first you put your container on the scale then you zero it out the fragrance i'm using here is from candle signs it's called white tea it's beautiful scent and i'm using three percent And I also keep some isopropanol in a spray bottle which helps to remove the bubbles that will come on the top of the soap after we pour. I'm using isopropanol 98%. So now we have our fragrance already. We have the melt and pour soap ready and we have isopropanol. You also need a color if you want to make a colorful baby shower gifts. So I'm using red here to make a pink because my soap is white and I add six drops of it to make a baby pink color. So I'm gonna melt it in the microwave at 30 second intervals. Well, it takes me about four intervals of 30 seconds to melt it completely and then i wait until the temperature goes down to between 130 and 40 and then i add the fragrance oil so let's melt it so this is how it looked after two intervals of 30 seconds i always stir it in between the intervals because otherwise some parts can start boiling while others have not melted so I stir it like for a few seconds and then I will put it back in the microwave. You do not want to burn your soap. That's the main thing with melt and pour. You do not want to burn it. Alright. Let's put it back in microwave for another 30 seconds. Now it's almost melted as you can see. I have to check sometimes there are lumps. You see that? Uh, but instead of 30 seconds I will actually go for 15 seconds and then check it back again. All right, so I did three complete 30 second intervals and one 15 second interval and it is completely melted right now you can see. So first I'm gonna mix up the color and once the color is completely mixed then I'm gonna add fragrance. I'm only gonna add four drops and I will make sure this color mixes well. Having a transparent container helps because you can see if the color is completely mixed. Now I will add the fragrance. After that I have to make sure once it is mixed well, I pour it in the mold as soon as possible. Mix the fragrance really well. Okay, now I'm going to spray it once on the top. You see, the bubbles are gone. Now the mold that you're going to use, make sure you already put it at a place where you are now going to move it again. Because if you will try to move it again, then you know all the soap will move. You know what I mean? So some things you have to like pre-plan that comes with experience. I love this beautiful pastel pink color. Alright, time to pour it. Pour it slow. Now we're going to leave it here in the mold without disturbing it for 24 hours. And I'm going to spray it with isopropanol to remove these bubbles that are on the top. Okay, this is after 24 hours, next evening. So first I will remove this plastic that I had put on top of it and then take the soaps out. And after that I will wrap them in a saran wrap. So I just buy plastic wrap from the local store. Make sure the surface you're going to take out the soaps on is clean.
Okay, now I will put them aside and cut 7 inches wide pieces of saran wrap. The measurement I use for this size soap bar, which is 3 by 2 inches, is 7 inches wide so it can wrap completely and about 4 or 4 to 4.5 inches this way long so I can cover the sides. So for 6 bars I generally cut it 21 inches this way and then I cut them in half so each piece covers one so 6 gets covered. If you're packing in bulk you can always get a shrink wrap system which is much faster all right you can see clearly but here is a plastic wrap it is this big I will take one of the soap bars and put it upside down because I do not want too many wrinkles on the front and I will wrap it one way another side to overlap it make sure you pull it a little bit to keep it tight it does not have to be perfectly tight but now this side I have enough plastic to just fold over this side I have way too much so I will cut it now just wrap this also there you go um, because melt and pour soaps absorb a lot of moisture from the environment that's why I wrap them in this shrink wraps now uh, you can either use a heat gun little bit heat just to kind of lock it down here or you can just use it the way it is this is gonna be the final packaging this is how it looks like I designed these two by two labels in Canva and I printed them on cardstock so after I printed them two by two I will cut it with my cutter and the same thing I did with my labels so first I designed them in Canva and then I transferred the design to Avery and then I printed them on two by two sheets so the first step is actually to put these labels on all the soaps that we have packaged and I will put the label on the back side now it's time to cut the 2x2 two two baby name labels and I'm going to use my paper cutter okay so we're done cutting the labels now I need to punch a hole in them just so I can hang them with the bag Okay, holes are punched now next part is cutting the lace I will cut these lace in 6.5 inches sizes and I will take a soap and wrap it around the soap and I will put a thank you sticker on it I bought these stickers from Amazon so I will be just using these few of them at once before I start wrapping them so I can go faster so what I do generally is I just cut one of them and then I just wrap rest of it around it. If there is an easier way to do this, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, I would like to know. Cut them. We have everything ready. We have the lace ready. We have the outer labels ready and I have the inside labels ready and I have these bags organza bags that I'm using today I bought these from Amazon also so I have these ready so that's all we need to start wrapping these soaps now when I'm packaging these I make sure each soap has a label and then take a lace have a label ready I put wrap it around the soap and have the label hold everything I make sure it goes up I make sure it goes above 
and below okay all these soaps now have lace and the thank you labels on them now it's time to just do the final packaging so we will get our organza bags put a soap in it I mean there's no demonstration needed for this part and uh, but I just want to show because that's what I did so after I close the bag I'll take one of the labels the name labels that I printed and I will just have a note on it and that is it and there you have it you can always customize it to your needs and your customers needs or whoever you're making it for